Welcome to Around the World Channel. Jamie Lynn Spears speaks out following Britney Spears' conservatorship hearing, deadline. On Monday, Jamie Lynn Spears made an emotional statement in support of sister Britney Spears. It came on the heels of the pop star's own public comment at a conservatorship hearing last week. Montreal Canadiens Joel Armia travels to Tampa, but not in lineup for Game 1 of Stanley Cup Final, ESPN. Montreal Canadiens forward Joel Armia traveled to Tampa, Florida, on a private jet, but he was a late scratch Monday for Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Flying bullets, not on my itinerary, tourists react to Times Square shooting, New York Post. Tourists visiting Times Square on Monday expressed fears for their safety and the city's future following the second shooting there in as many months. Three children found dead at East L.A. home under suspicious circumstances, Los Angeles Times. Three children were found dead in an East Los Angeles home Monday under what Los Angeles County Sheriff's officials described as suspicious circumstances. Deputies responded about 12.45 p.m. Sydney outbreak tied to Delta variant grows, the New York Times. Two men in Sydney did not seem to grasp that recommendation and ended up providing just the kind of distraction that Australians perhaps needed in the midst of the bad news. Kathy Wood's ARK Invest files to offer a Bitcoin ETF, Reuters. Representations of the Bitcoin cryptocurrency are seen in this illustration picture taken June 7, 2021. College World Series, Championship Game 1 Time Set, KETV Omaha. Omaha, Neb. The NCAA delayed the start of Game 1 of the College World Series Championship Series by one hour Monday due to the threat of rain. The game started at 7.11 p.m. Tropical Storm Danny makes landfall in South Carolina, NBC News. Tropical Storm Danny made landfall in South Carolina on Monday night, threatening the southeast with powerful winds and heavy rains, forecasters said. Amazon opens cooling center at Seattle headquarters amid record-breaking heatwave, CNBC. Amazon is turning part of its Seattle headquarters into a public cooling center as the Pacific Northwest grapples with a record-breaking heatwave. 